go out, okay? The valve is literally a valve, a spring, and then a retainer on the top that holds it in place. The way that these things are made, it's got these little retainer clips, and the retainer clips hold the valve to the retainer. Let me see if I can, um, see, I don't have an easy way of getting this camera really, really close to the thing. Um, in fact, here, Han, I already have a valve removed. Let's do this. All right, so here is a valve set, okay? You have the valve itself, right? You'll notice that at the very top, there's a small groove in it. That is what the retainers clip into, right? This is the actual retainer that will fit up here. Now you notice that it's it, there's a little bit of a gap in there, right? That is where these come into play. These little tiny things are the retainer clips, okay? So these, when you put them together, I don't know if you can really see that, they've got a little bit, they've got just enough groove on them to go into that slot on the valve, right? But when they're like this, okay, so you would have them, one right there, one right there, and then when this comes up, it sits just like that, okay? You see how now, physically, those things can't come loose, right? And with the spring below it, I, I didn't install the spring on this, but this spring is a beefy spring. Like, I'm trying to compress it with my hand and it is not compressing. This is, this is underneath this, and then this is pressing up against the metal that makes up the head itself, right? Um, so this thing is under extreme tension and these can't come out, right? What this tool does is on the inside here, there is a magnet. When you take this and you fit this over this and then you press down, it's big enough to push down and only this, but leave the retainers. So what ends up happening is that you press it in, you can press the spring when you pull it off the retainers stick to the magnet. You see that? Now I do need a scribe to pull them back out, but that's how you can easily remove these things. So all I gotta do is get on it, press down really hard, pretty much using my body weight, and it makes it, uh, it pops the retainers out. So let me get my scribes, because I do need that to get these little things out. Because again, they're being held on by a magnet. Like this is probably the long part is just getting them out from the magnet. And then the other half of the tool is this. It then fits inside this, so you still push it in. It shouldn't do anything, but this little piece right here is spring-loaded, okay? So what this does is that you have to mount, and I might need to use the other one for these, but you mount the retainers like this, right? Like you have them so they're captive. And then what happens is that as you press it, see how now it's compressed and they're tensioned? When you push this onto the head, it will cause the thing to push down evenly on everything and it will snap the retainers into place. So no more, might actually be this one, to be honest, this one's a little bit larger. Yeah, I think it's this one. Um, but now when you go to put the valve on, it just kind of snaps into place. And the spring-loaded bit is what applies that tension. Supposed to be super, super easy to do. I haven't done the putting it on part yet, but as you can see, I've already taken one off. So let's see if we can get these other 
these other valves out. So move it back. And I've already done this one, so I'm just going to continue on. This should go just like this. Oh, you know what it is? I'm an idiot, again. You have to have your hand on the bottom holding the valve so it does not push out. That'll do it. Because otherwise... Actually, you know what? I got another thing I gotta do. This thing has been in the car since it was built. It's never been disassembled before. So a lot of these little valve retainers are a little bit stuck. So first things first is I'm just going to go at them and just tap them, loosen them up. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use a socket for this so it does it evenly all the way around. Um, give me a larger socket like that. I wonder, 18? Is that going to be enough or... Okay, good. I'm just trying to make sure it doesn't make contact with the walls of the thing. And all I'm trying to do is I'm trying to feel for the bounce of the spring. Just to make sure that they're a little bit loosened up. Okay, so I've got that side. Next track. This sounds like another Blood Dragon song. God, this thing is stuck on there. Let me try another one. Okay, so that one moved a lot easier. So this one, down. It's already pulling one of the retainers out. See, that was a lot easier than the other one. Come on. Com one is set to not set. It hurts heard me say com one, so I'm not doing flights. I gotta go through all those commands now and figure out why it is triggering when I'm not playing flight sim. There it goes. So, ow, pinch. All right, so there's the retainer. 
the one thing snapped into the inside with the magnet. Let me 